Welcome, Welcome to, to the Chicas, Chicas del Pod. This is a podcast, you guys, where we're going to be discussing different topics. We're going to be talking about current events, life experiences that we go through, and just three friends hanging out with you guys, which makes you the fourth friend. I'm Yay. Samantha, a.k.a. Mexican Chun Li. My name is Amy Diaz, and you can call me Amy D. And my name is Marimar. Uh, we're just going to get to know each other because, obvio, it's our first episode, and you guys don't know much about us. And we're going to start with Amy. Oh! <gasps> Me? Oh. <laughs> okay, well, if you guys don't know who I am just yet, I am Amy Diaz. Um, I'm a content creator on TikTok, Instagram. I will link my socials down below because they all have a different username. And I also make content on YouTube, so you can find my YouTube channel at Amy Diaz, where I share a lot about my lifestyle. I share about my life experiences as well. And basically anything that I'm comfortable with sharing with you guys. Um, I am 28 years old. I am 100% Mexican. I was born and raised in Mexico until I was about 10 years old. And then I moved out here because my parents were separated and my mom decided to bring my siblings and myself over to the United States to have a better life. <laughs> um, after that, I started working since I was 16 years old and I've just been out here hustling and trying to make a dollar out of 15 cents. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to be here with you guys. If you guys have any questions about me, you can hit me down below in the comments. Uh, Sammy, you're next. Woo! Damn, I was hoping you wouldn't <laughs> say I was next. Anyway. Hi guys. I'm Samantha, AKA Mexican Chun Li. I've also created content. I've had my ups and down in the content creating stuff, but I genuinely enjoy a deep conversation. I like to talk about just anything that I might be dealing with or anything that I think might help anybody. I am going to be 30. Ah! I'm going to be 30 <laughs> next month. And so, yeah, you guys, I don't know how old you guys might be, but when you get from that transitional time into turning 30, I feel like there are a lot of things that you kind of have to reflect and, you know, think about. And just within all of that, uh, it, growing up, I feel passionately, uh, I feel passionately about um, just growing up with an incarcerated parent. So that's one of the topics that we might brush up on. And also just uh, health and wellness and kind of balancing all of my current interest and balancing work play fun and that kind of thing so i'm really excited to get to know you guys as well down in the comments below because i feel like you know i feel like we are three friends and we're very relatable in the sense of just you know being transparent about any of the things that we're going through uh that we feel comfortable sharing and just seeing where this can take us it's really exciting so and i love the mic the mic makes me feel important yes. <laughs> <Yeah>. official <laughs> anyways what about you Mariba? <laughs> okay throwing shots chill huh, I'm, in the I'm the last one i know <laughs> They save the last for the best, guys. Hello. <laughs> My name is Marimar. If I didn't say it before, hola, saludos desde aquí, our colchón right here. <laughs> Guys, I am very uh, shy. I feel like my homegirls here to the right uh, have more experience than me. I was a short content creator for two weeks. Crickets. Woo! <laughs> two weeks. Algo es algo. Yep. Yeah. I am very private, guys. That's why I did not make it. It was anything else other than that and mixed with being lazy. No, um... Animo, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I am very nervous to even start this. I'm over here like feeling hot and I didn't take a shot. <laughs> I'm not gonna point fingers, but here we are, guys. So, just a little bit about myself. I am 27. I'm gonna be 28. Did you guys know I just realized I'm 27? You just realized it? Girl, you're about yeah. to be 28. Porque cuando te preguntan, how old are you? I'm like 26. And my niece is like, you're old. You're 27. I was like, <laughs> Now uh, you're old, cancelado. <laughs> right, okay, guys. So I'm 27, gonna be 28, and on the 14th of September, it's coming up next Woo! to my Virgo game. Woo! One day apart, by the way. On the 15th, 14th. <laughs> here we are. Um, I'm from East LA, born and raised, guys. I. Okay. <laughs> I'll stop. Go ahead. No, no, you're good. Um, I'm born and raised in East LA, guys. I come from the background of trying to break cycles. I come from a single parent household. It is very hard. My dad didn't come into my life until later on. Um, and yeah, we're here breaking cycles. I'm ready and excited for you guys to get to know me, for me to open up a little bit more. 
even my friends know I just recently started being more open. Um, and I struggle with that, with a sense of me being private. So here we are opening up a podcast and I'm excited to start this new chapter, this new etapa nuestra vida. O sea, Amen. Amen. Y aquí estamos. So you guys welcome and I'm excited to see where this goes. Yeah. I feel like I was the shortest introduction. My bad, everybody. <laughs> I didn't even know if mine was long enough. Honestly, Yours is good. I was vibing with both of you guys. <laughs> but if there's anything deeper that you guys want to know about us, I'm sure you guys will ask down in the comments. Please, please, please um, think about subscribing to us so that you guys can actually follow all of our episodes that we continue to film for you guys. We are going to be trying to film one episode per week, right? And so we are out here. We're going to be hustling for you guys. Consistent queen. And I'm sure you guys want to know how we got to this point right now when it comes to us even making a podcast together. Because in case you guys didn't know... We have been friends for years. How long has it been? Me and you've been middle school. Yeah. So her and I have been friends since middle school. And then 2018-ish. So 2018, do the math. 2019, 2020, 21. One to two. So like four years. <laughs> it feels been longer. Long, no, it's no been way. longer. It's been. I mean, it, it was in 2018. Because... No, it was longer for sure. I, at least five to six years. Because I, I, when I actually had the math, I remember thinking it was five to six years. That's a long time. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so her and I, middle school, and then you and I, I feel like our friendship anniversary was when we went to that concert, uh, Tyler the Creator concert. It was uh, lit. It was lit. <laughs> that was like our first time hanging out together alone, and that was pretty lit. Um, yeah, so how did we get here, guys? How did we get so, here? So, <laughs> you guys, it was a random, I would say this, it's very random, but when people are meant to be and we are synced, we are synced. So we were here after one day of hanging out, having a picnic. We obviously, as we grow and unfortunately have gotten busier, pero amen. Congracias a Dios, aquí estamos. Um, we made time for each other. It was a friend date. We're just catching up in el chisme, ya saben. <laughs> and we were here after I was at Amy's house. Y luego, it just started the conversation. Um, I think you started the conversation and I added on. I piggybacked to her and I was just like, bro, this is something I've been wanting to do. Pero no tengo el ánimo, like I told you guys, I'm very shy. Sí me animé to the YouTube videos, but it was only like a couple in the span of a couple months. But then I shut down because I'm very hypercritical. Is that the correct word? Yeah. Yeah, I'm very hypercritical about myself and I judge myself. So it's very much easier for Amy or Sam to pick up the camera and say, hey, is it fine for you to come out? I'm just like, sale está bien. And I could be myself, but when it's you grabbing the camera, it looks hard. It looks easy. Right. But when you're doing it, it's hard. It's like very, hey guys, you know? So I piggyback basically off... Um, me wanting to start some type of a sit down talk video and i said hey like this is something i've been wanting to do and it's funny because me and amy the way we're sitting guys is couches in the shape of a you. in a u in a squarish u and literally sam was in the middle i was on one side and amy on the other and me and amy are talking and sam is over here giving us great ideas and i'm like oh my god yeah yeah and i'm like wait sam what do you think and sam's like i'd be down yeah, I said I'm down to clown. I'm Period. here. <laughs> I'm here for a good, good time, time, not a long, long time. time. No, not and like a long that. time. And a long okay, time. And a long time. <laughs> yes, of course. Yeah. No, I think it was very interesting that I feel like we all had this common interest. I in the past I have done sit down videos. I've even done like sit down videos with my friends and like try to pursue that route. But, you know, for whatever reason, you get busy, like things get really overwhelming. And so I think now having gone through things failing on my end, uh, I just feel like that is giving me like a better, you know, map and kind of path that I can take on to where I can be consistent with what I want to do. And of course, it's amazing because we're making time to spend together and then also connecting with people who have already wanted to connect with us, which is you guys. So Amen. that's why I'm really excited about it because I do miss the, this interaction. For sure. I feel like you guys take such a huge part in our lives. I mean, for me personally, you know, like content creating and my YouTube channel, like, the interaction between the comments and I, I literally feel like I'm talking to you guys every time I talk on camera and definitely like I wanted to start something where it could be a group of friends too. And I feel like 
that's exciting where we are now because I didn't want to do it alone. You know, like I could have almost, I guess, started a podcast by myself, but I was like, that's kind of boring. Like I want to have fun, you know, and not that I don't have fun with just recording by myself, but I feel like those videos are a lot more intense, which we can definitely get into intense topics. Right. But like if one time we want to have fun or we want to take a shot or we want to like just joke around and do different things, like I'm like, I want to have that with people. And that conversation that we had that day, it literally like sparked up this right here where we are sitting at right now and it was literally a matter of all three of us just you know putting thoughts and literally like i'm willing to do this i'm willing to do that and all of us working together and it's like it's gonna be equal you know we're all gonna take a part and let's figure out where we're gonna film let's figure out lighting let's figure out podcast uh mics let's figure out everything you know and it's just the enthusiasm behind it and i feel like our hearts are full and we have so much to share with you guys so definitely super excited to be here with you too and then also to be here with you guys um i feel like we're gonna have a lot of fun yeah I'm and excited. i mean it's literally gonna go everywhere you know like hit us down in the comments honestly with whatever topic you guys want us to touch i feel like personally sometimes people ask me for advice and i'm like uh, i don't know everything about your situation but if you guys want to stay private then i guess you can dm one of us and then literally give us a little bit more insight on your information if you don't want to comment it down below but i feel like it's going to be so much fun so 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 much fun i also want to add that uh we are all in the workforce currently and we all know the value of content that you can listen to while you are at work yes. while you are at the gym while you are on your grind while Period. you are working on yourself and i just think it's a valuable thing to be able to have another place that you can go to where you can hang out with your homegirls and you can just you know kind of piggyback on the things that we talk about and then actually reflect. And then some of those things might be, you know, productive towards your life too. For sure. Yeah. I'm over here excited guys, because <laughs> this is something I think, um, it goes back to, and tell me if I'm wrong guys, but you know, cuando dicen like, if you work in something you love, you'll never work a day in your life. Yeah. That corny quote, <laughs> guys, I have learned. It took me 27 years to learn that it's a lie. Dead. It's a lie. We work. We Our real life job, let me tell you guys something if you don't know, is our life, mm -hmm. right? Our job, our nine to five, whatever it is, it's what's going to maintain our lifestyle. What right. we want to do with what we love, w whether it's traveling, hiking with the family, going out to nice dinners, drinks with friends, whatever it is. That's our real life job to make sure we're 100% satisfied. So the fact that we're here entre amigas, you know, se encanta. We're here having fun and a good time. And like they said, I, the interactions. And even though you know, tengo fan base, you know, hablo con la gente. A veces en cuando, they love you, okay? They love you on my yes, channel. They do. <laughs> a veces you cuando, are a hit. <laughs> period. Thank y la marimar. <laughs> Thank you guys. I know I see them too. I love it so much, guys. Because let me tell you something. If it's one thing I do, I'll be looking at videos and reading comments. So you guys could best believe I will be commenting. I love to talk to people. Matter of fact, I've made friends with complete strangers on Instagram. Nice. Um, so me I'm too. excited. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited to interact and I'm excited to be here and do something that we're, we genuinely are um, enthusiastic about. We're going to, uh, I love it already. I'm excited, even though I'm nervous. I feel like. I'm sweating. Same. <laughs> so I'm like, let me move my legs. <laughs> the AC is on full blast. Let me tell you guys that right now. But I'm so excited to start this with you guys. And I hope you guys stick around and you guys um, engage with us because I know we're all equally excited. Yay! Okay. Besides equally excited, though, I want to point out the fact that we all are very different. Very. Super. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, but tell us more. <laughs> Go ahead, so girl. So <laughs> basically, I know that it's cool because my perspective is not going to be the same as hers or hers. And so when we have different perspectives that maybe you guys might have or you guys might not have, we can all learn from each other and we can all just respectfully agree or disagree. And it just creates good conversation. For sure. I feel like this is the healthiest relationships I've had as far as like I could like I I hate confrontation guys <laughs> i'm one like if i'm out and someone's punking or trying to do something with my friends i'm like what's up i'm down for that but when it comes to confrontation having a grown conversation i'm like oh my god how's it gonna go let me talk to this person and i could open up to sam and say hey sam no me gusto esto esto y x and i'm over here and anxiously waiting and she'll respond politely like hey i'm so sorry that that bothered you like but i see it this way and i like that we could come to a happy medium 
Mm-hmm. So just like that, I know there's going to be either whether it's controversial or it's something that we highly agree or disagree with. I think it's going to be a fun discussion because we, we could go head to head, but find an equal medium where we're not going to be mad at the end of the day. So I'm excited for that because like you said, we are all different. And even if we all disagree, we can still respect each other's opinions. Mm-hmm. Just yes. like I'm sure you guys will probably agree with one of us and not the other two or the other one and all two or whoever you agree with. So it's definitely going to be a lot of fun. I am so excited. This is just video number two, number one. I'm oh sorry. It's episode Damn. number one. She's traveling. She's time traveling right now. You guys, now, give, us, give us time. We're going to warm up a little more if we seem tense. I know. I'm excited. This is so fun. Okay. So um, I guess we should get to, we already got to how we got here. Um, we can get to what we plan on doing. Really? I guess there's no really plan, huh? Yeah, I feel like there's no, there's not like a real theme. I think it would be everything and anything's on the table as long as we're comfortable with talking about it. And if we don't feel like, obviously, guys, we're not going to talk about votes and politics and all that. <laughs> yeah, porque no. que, que hueva, o sea. Don't expect that. Oh, not even my personal channel. <laughs> Do not subscribe. We already have enough of that going around. Yeah, is, we're here yeah. to give you guys like in a such a hard time we're going through pandemic after pandemic after whatever's going on. Right. We're here for the shits and giggles. Literally. Can we Why not? Ah, okay. Está bien. Es porque no sé nada de esto del YouTube. Uh, uh, palabras. You know, Malas palabras. Profane, profanity. I mean, it depends for sure. You estamos know? en el tutubo, guys. Aquí estamos. Hi, guys. Welcome. I'm so sorry if I said something wrong. <laughs> no, we'll be fine. I feel like we're just going to be here to create whatever content comes to us. And honestly, like I said, if you guys have any, any ideas on anything you guys want us to touch on, especially, you know, us being friends, us being so different. We've all have had a different upbringing. We come from different places. We believe different things, you know, and like we said, we can agree to disagree with some things. Um, but yeah, I mean, I feel like we all still come and work on each other's friendship and try to be here for each other together and harmoniously. Is that a word? Never have I ever See? heard that word. See? See? Okay, I'm Sepa. being, I'm using my, my, uh, big girl words. My, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is it? No, la neta que les quiero decir algo. We need to go back and touch up on friendships, okay, guys? So let's, um, let me go ahead and let you guys know the real sauce of it, the tea. I'm Ooh. a, I'm a spill it. Mm. Tell us. Okay, so many of you guys don't know because I don't have my own channel to tell you guys the real tea. <laughs> So me and Amy, we go back, like we like we said, I came from East L.A. at the end of sixth grade. So I met you like seventh grade, yeah. I would say, right? So seventh grade. And um, just to like freshen up on that, me and Amy had high school musical parties. We and, did. <laughs> and somewhere down the line, I felt that Amy hated me. And Dead. there's a little part of my life that we don't all remember every single thing we go through. But Amy remembers um, apparently these big bear hugs that my little ass, my little five, five ass would give her <laughs> five, eleven ass, you know. So I don't remember that, but she remembers it. Um, so for a while, there was a gap where we weren't filled into each other's life, but we still had that friendship. And I still carried like, oh, she's cool. I fuck with her. I love her. And then we just I don't know where we touched base and we didn't fall off. And then I met Sam years later down the road. We were introduced and let me tell you guys something. There was beef and chicken. Ooh, <laughs> beef and chicken. Not because chicken. <laughs> I'm vegetarian. No, ah, no mentiras. Me no encanta la not. carne. Me gusta la carne. <laughs> es el cotorreo. No, uh, me and Sam, we didn't meet for a while, but I just knew I was like, Sam's taking my friend. I was that petty friend. I was like, hmm, who Sam, is she? Uh, I mean, Marimar did not like sharing friends, okay? I'm, if you guys know something about me, like, I'm open-hearted. I'm a big lover, uh, and fighter but um, es territorial la morra es territorial en serio que sí and I don't I'm very much you guys could say it, I'm very much no new friends yep. um, I'm very friendly don't get me wrong but I think as anybody else could agree it's very to the point like I, to, a just, point, to yeah, a point yeah to a point you can't just let everybody and entire everybody because then to a point you're like what's going on in your life that you're spilling the guts to everybody you know which is not a bad thing but in a way it's kind of like mm, be a little bit selective discerning. yeah and we're not you guys could say you have 100 friends i don't believe you 100 percent. i won't believe <laughs> well, you. well i mean and, and and again we can even go very deep on the friendship topic on another episode you know but obviously acquaintances versus friendships have a completely different right. meaning and I, that's what you're right, right. but to. then i gave sam a chance she didn't even know this did you know that sam 
I, I mean, I knew extent. that you were, you were like a Girl, little the energy gave it off. Yeah, you were a little standoffish <laughs> and I was just a little bit confused. Like I was like, but we can all be friends, you know, and I was but, like, no, but that's OK, because maybe like in the past you've experienced friendships where maybe you felt replaced, you know, and and it was I didn't take it personal the whole time. Yeah. I just felt like I just as when you got to know me better then you would realize, OK, she's actually genuine and she's not trying to steal my friend. Yeah. And at that time, guys, let me tell you, um, me and Amy went from being like, uña y tierra, like Super close. close. Uña y mugre. Oh, there you go. There you go. Thank you, uh, sis. <laughs> um, yeah. So we're super close. And for a moment, I decided for some reason I was going through something. So I like, como se dice? Me quité. I took, I took myself you out of the You removed yourself. Yeah. yeah. So I was no longer always together and I wouldn't answer as much. And then Sam came out of the blue was introduced into her life and then i don't know i'm seeing posts with this girl mexican chun li and i'm like who is this <laughs> mma fighter Duh. you know but um as soon as i got to know sam we have a lot of uh we just finished saying that we're not alike but we had a lot of interest obviously we're all here we because all, there's all yeah. mutual interest right but sam is like me sigue she'll be like me bailas let's go both are virgos vamos al mambo vamos a bailar i'm like let's go let's drink let's go you know but it's more than just that it's a deeper connection and when i got to know you we're like on a deeper level obviously so i'm glad we're all here and Yay! our friendships have been here throughout the years mm -hmm. and i'm excited because now i no longer say i only have two friends i have three yeah <laughs> yes Let's we're go. all here for you guys too and hopefully as the episodes go on we can get to know you guys as well yeah definitely um i feel like we'll be exchanging a lot of things like i said you guys are more than welcome to open up your hearts on our comments and let us know what you think down below um, is this it for this video? This is it. I'm going to sound this like Amy. Let me repeat and say, go ahead, guys, and drop down <laughs> comments. Make sure you like this. Make sure you guys subscribe because I can't wait to grow together. Um, and here we are. Welcome. I hope you guys enjoy this little intro. Yeah, it's going to be so much fun. I'm super excited to also have you guys here. I'm super excited, again, to create this content and just to have another platform where we can get deeper into certain topics with friends, all of us together. Pues hay nos videos, plebes. Uh, we'll see you guys the next time because Ciao. we're Bye, gonna... guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.